color the bash output. Color the output of your bash scripts. There are two ways to do it. The first way is using ANSI escape codes. Here is an example. Use the E option with the echo command. And then here's the text that's going to have a different color foreground and background and maybe be underlined. Here is an escape sequence. It starts with a backslash 033 open bracket and ends with an M. In between, it has a series of numbers separated by semicolons. One number is for the foreground and one is for the background. This one is for the background, which is the second one. Okay, let me show you what this does. Okay, the background is bl dark blue, the foreground is light blue. After our text, we have another escape sequence to return the text to the way it was before. Here, we're using zero as the code. I've also seen it written more concisely this way. By replacing the backslash 033 with backslash E. Okay, let's say you want the codes for the colors. On this page in Wikipedia, it's called ANSI escape code. In this table called SGR, select graphic rendition parameters, the numbers 30 through 37 set text color, and 40 through 47 are set background color, where X is from the color table below. Here also where X is from the color table below. There's the color table. I just had a revelation. Each code, like 32, for example, let's say, represents blue text, not the blue background. If I put the 32 on this side and the 44 on this side, it would still come out looking like this. So the order doesn't actually matter. Here you go. I actually proved it. A good way to use this stuff is to use a table that has examples. For example, 3740, right here, 3740, has white text on a dark background, just like I have it here. This is on the bitmore.com website. And the search term that I used is table of ANSI color code options for terminal text examples. There are also some codes for setting the style, like for example, bold or blinking. Also, the code zero is for all attributes are off. This is back here on the Wikipedia website. You know the one, ANSI escape codes. Okay, I added the 5 here. That makes it blinking. Keep in mind that in a script, you can make your life easier by storing these codes in variables with descriptive names, and then use the variable in any string you need it. Keep in mind, there's also another way using a utility called tput. It's a tput command to do these things. For example, here it says colors and cursor movement with tput. And that's the second way of doing it, which I mentioned in the beginning. You can find out more about tput and the codes that go along with it on the term info man page.